looking to the future of transportation and technology. County Supervisor Jim Desmond joining us to explain what he wants to see happen in San Diego. Good morning. Good to Jillian. see you. Hey, are, great to be here. Are we talking about like meet George Jetson? Well, I wish, uh, <laughs> not, not quite, but uh, you know, I think we really need to be focusing on technology and transportation here in San Diego County. San Diego unfortunately wants to tax us into submission into ma mass transportation. And I think we should be doing, make, making what people already do, make it safer, make it cleaner, and make it more efficient. And so I think utilizing our roadways in a better, in a better way is the way to go, and that's technology. Okay, this world that you're about to talk about, okay. Waymo, autonomous driving technology, sounds a little, I don't know, I want to say scary, but like, is this what our re reality is, what we'll see in our lifetime? Well, you know what? It, I, I hope so, and I, th I think it's actually safer. I was, I was a bit apprehensive. Get, you know, getting into this vehicle, you summon a vehicle. It's just like getting getting an Uber or a Lyft. So this is the vehicle. Nobody's driving it. Yes, nobody's in that. And 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 when you get in the car, I got in the passenger side of the car, and okay. my, my staff was in the back seat. And and uh, and as this vehicle shows up, up on the screen is your destination. You press yes, go, and it it has all these sensors on the vehicles, and and it drives. And we drove, and it was the streets of San Francisco. So we went up hills, down hills, came to a five-way stop. And quite frankly, after a while, I felt safer being in that vehicle because that vehicle was so aware of everything. And you can see on the little display, it recognizes cats and dogs and, and bicycles. And, and it actually did, did everything perfectly right within you know, the, the rules of the road. And so it's, it was actually, like I said, it felt safer. And the car is, is not distracted. The drivers don't go on strike, and, and it, uh, you know, is actually, I felt very comfortable. And after that drive, we hopped in an Uber uh, and, and went back to the airport, and I was noticing the driver was just, yeah, we were safe, but he was very distracted because he was, had the phone going, and he was looking at things, and he'd fiddle with the radio and things like that. And it's like this autonomous vehicle did none of that, and I felt like I said, apprehensive at first, oh. but it, it felt safe at the end. I don't know, Supervisor. I think it's going to take me a moment. Like, I drive yeah. a Tesla right now, and I still can't, like, surrender to the car driving and my, my hands off the wheel. Like, you just feel... Yeah. But maybe technology is going to change. We've seen technology change over all these years. I mean, there was a day that uh, there were no cell phones. And That's now right. look, and look at where we're at. You tweeted, Elon Musk, mm -hmm. about this. Did anything ever come? Yeah, actually, uh, that very day that um, Elon gave me a one-word answer of uh, sure. <laughs> he said, sure. Yeah. So what did you tweet? You said, Elon Musk, can we get some help from you on a realistic transportation plan? Instead of the plan we have now in which they want to tax us out of our cars, we love for San Diego to invest in the future of transportation and technology. And he said, sure. Sure. Yes. So that day, uh, his, his company, it's called the Boring Company, and not boring like yawn boring, but boring underground, boring tunnels. He's got it in Las Vegas. They've got this system operating underneath the convention center right now. And I understand the convention center in Vegas is huge. It's yes. almost a mile to get from one end to the other. So they've got a couple of stops underneath. They board tunnels underneath the, wow. uh, the convention center, and they're there were cars are, are going uh, back and forth, and then they're connecting to hotels on the strip. Now, right now, it's only connected to one of the hotels. It's actually across the busy uh, Las Vegas Avenue there, and 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 people are taking the vehicles from that hotel to the convention center. So eventually, they're going to be taking this all the way underneath the strip, going to all the hotels uh, in Las Vegas, taking you to the convention center. And it's un an underground. I had no idea this was happening. It's it's really cool. And they, they got like three stops right now. And, and it's very, they have these boring machines that go underneath the ground. And, and it's a one lane, uh, you know, car tunnel. And they've got, you know, a couple in each direction. And it's, you're actually driven in a Tesla. Uh, there's a driver that, that takes you through there right oh, now. Wow. It'd probably be autonomous some, at some point in time. But, and so they're, gonna, they're, they're, they're doing that. So technology, I think, is the way to go for transportation. You know, it took the uh, Sand Egg, it took 32 years for the inception, from inception to being actually open and being used, the Mid-Coast Trolley. 
which goes from Old Town up mm. to University Town Center and UTC and UCSD, 32 years. Technology is going to change and evolve right. 10 times over the next 30 years. Is that what you want to see happen for San Diego? Fast forward 30 years, what does San Diego look like? I would, I would hope technology lanes, like lanes particularly for cars that have certain types of technology so you can feel free and feel comfortable to let go of the wheel. And then maybe after, after you know you drive and you're ready to drive the last mile home or whatever, then it kicks you out and you, then you drive it home safely. I see us using our roadways much more efficiently and I think people people want the freedom of, of going when you want to go, where you want to go, as opposed to depending on public transportation. We need both. We need a blend of both. But I think for our roadways, we could make it much more safe, much safer with getting the human out of the, out of the driver's seat, and and much more efficient and and potentially cleaner as well. I mean, I hope we see it in our lifetime. I'm yes. sure our, our kids uh, will. So it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next uh, few decades. I know you're also busy, and you, we've had you on the show, um, Supervisor, over the past few weeks. Have you talked to Nathan Fletcher? I know this is something that everybody's still talking about. It's top of mind. Have you talked sure. to him recently? What's what's going to happen next week? No, I haven't talked to him uh, recently. Apparently, he's, he's, he's out of state uh, in, in, in a rehab facility. And so um, I think it's better if we don't talk at this, at this point in time, but we're waiting at our next meeting on, on May 2nd. We're going to be, the supervisors are going to be discussing uh, our options. Mm -hmm. An option to appoint somebody to that seat or an option to go to a ballot or do both. We could attempt to appoint. We only have 30 days to appoint somebody, no. and if that doesn't happen, then it will go to an election in that district, and unfortunately, that election is going to cost... cost. Four million dollars. Yeah. Do you now. think we're we're going to get there? It's going to be in this probably because I it, it'd be nice if we could find somebody who's moderate on on, mm -hmm. on politics on either side that we could all agree on. We could work with. But the downfall is you've got four people then appointing somebody to a district, and none of us live in that district. Yeah. So I can see the you know the, the going to an election, but the election is very costly, and it probably won't be done until November of this year. So um, we're going to be discussing those options, and, and we'll see which way we go on, on Tuesday. Well, well, obviously, we will be following that story. If this technology ever comes here, can you like call me? Because I really want to try. I want to sit really in cool. one of these cars, and I want to check it out. Well, actually, just... actually, they're operating in Phoenix right now. Well, they're maybe we need to go out in Phoenix and try this. All right, uh, let's, let's set I'm it up. I'm fascinated with we'll this. We'll set it we'll up. It. It's cool. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Good to see you.